photo people. I'm Allie. And I'm Lizzie. And <laughs> we're the photo sisters. Today we're going to talk to you about a crop sensor versus a full frame sensor. Yeah, so. Because you've always wanted to know. Yeah. This is a full frame sensor. Oh, I'll show you the back. <laughs> so essentially, this is a full frame sensor and this is a crop sensor. The crop sensor is a lot smaller and a full cheaper. frame sensor is a lot more expensive to produce. So you're really only going to find full frame sensors in the more high end cameras. Um, Canon's that starts with the 5D series. You can also get a 6D that's a full frame sensor. If you're with Nikon, I think it's a D700. I think it's the D700. Yeah, Qu don't quote me on that. Um, but if you're looking at a Canon Rebel or a Canon 7D, those are going to be crop sensors. So what's the big difference? Essentially, a crop sensor is going to magnify the view that you're seeing. So when you're using a 50 millimeter on a full frame sensor, a 5D, and if you're using a 50 millimeter on a 7D, you're not going to see the same thing when you're looking through the viewfinder. Since the crop sensor on the 70 is magnified, it's more or less going to be somewhere around the 75 to 85 millimeter frame. So if you're wanting more so of it, a... So it looks more zoomed in. Yeah. And if you're looking for really wide angle lenses, I would go for a full frame camera because you can't really get as wide on a crop sensor as you can with the full frame sensor. Tamron does sell some lenses that are made specifically for a crop sensor, but I that's think Nikon the, does too. That is the downside is you can't really use it then on a full frame full frame camera because it has this black square around it because like it's, vignetting, yeah. Yeah, it's already magnified for you. Yeah, so a lot of lenses will work cross platform on full frame or crop sensors. The image the image will look different because like we said, since the crop sensor magnifies it, it'll be more zoomed in. So when I look through Allie's viewfinder with the 50 millimeter lens, it's a lot closer up. So that could work if you're wanting to zoom in closer and not have to have as much of a telephoto lens. Um, but as far as image quality, if you have a DSLR, you're probably not going to see a huge difference in the image quality, I don't think. If you're getting really technical, you might notice a difference, but to me, the biggest thing is just that focal lengths are a little bit different and you can't take it at face value. And there's very few lenses out there on the market that are only made for a full frame or crop sensor camera, so if you're looking at lenses and you think that you might be changing cameras in the future, just make sure that, you know, it's, it's made for your type of camera that you can use it with. So, but most of them will work, you just have to double check on that. Especially, like she said, there's like a, a Tamron zoom lens that she has that only works for crop sensors. So, um, also full frame sensors might have a better ISO performance capability, so if you're wanting to shoot indoors without a flash or at night, um, a full frame sensor might benefit you, but again, technology is, is, has really improved. So you can find some good ISO ranges on crop sensors as well. Most of the cameras out there, if you're looking at basic models and beginner models, those are probably going to be a crop sensor, but I don't really think it's that great of a deal. I think it just depends on what you want to use your camera for. Alrighty, any questions, leave us in the comments below or ask us on Facebook, and we will catch you later. Thanks, Thanks. for watching. Bye. Bye.